guys welcome to the video lecture on introduction to accounting so our topic in today's video is about the term resale in accounting now when we purchase or sell machinery we normally identify the account head as machinery account when we purchase or sell furniture we identify the same to be furniture account when we purchase goods or sell goods we identify it as purchase account but however when we purchase furniture for resale we use purchase account when we sell furniture which is made for resale we use sales account now we require to understand from the first to the second example where we said purchase or sold furniture we use furniture account but on the fourth example when we said purchase furniture for resale we are using purchase account what is the reason behind the difference now when we have purchased or sold furniture and whereby we have taken furniture account now this furniture has been purchased to be used in the business and once the company is looking forward to sell this furniture so we are again crediting furniture account so when we purchase furniture we debit furniture account when we sell furniture we credit furniture account but when furniture is purchased for the purpose of resale it means to say that furniture will be considered to be part of goods now what were goods if you remember when we talked about purchase goods and sold goods we said goods are basically termed to be part of raw material which required to be converted to wip and finally to a finished good and thereafter we can only sell finished goods to our customers so while we purchase goods we use purchase account and when we are selling finished goods we are using sales account when we use purchase furniture for resale it means to say the company is purchasing raw furniture which required to be remodeled or rechanged or redesigned and the company is looking forward to sell furniture now when the company is purchasing furniture for the purpose of resale then that furniture will be considered to be part of a good and therefore purchase furniture for resale to be considered as purchase goods because they are purchasing raw furniture which will be termed as goods to be converted into a finished furniture product thereby purchase furniture for resale to be considered as purchase account if we have sold furniture which are meant for resale similarly since we have considered it to be part of goods so, so sold furniture will be termed as sold goods will be part of sales account let's understand the concept of resale with more examples now the following four examples has been cited in the books of sk edu info and co an example one says that purchase furniture to be used in the business now when we purchase furniture we are aware of say for example one purchase furniture from roy and sons would be 75000 on credit this particular furniture is not mentioned for resale therefore we can understand that this furniture to be used in the business so we are passed the entry furniture account debit to roy and sons with respect to the rules of the account now if say for example if we are returning certain furniture which has been purchased previously so it will be roy and sons account debit to furniture if you are thinking about selling this particular furniture and say for example if you have received cash so it will be cash account debit to furniture account now let's understand example 2 and let's compare with that with example 1 and example 2 example 2 says purchase furniture for rupees 45000 from preter and co on credit for resale so the clear word mention is resale therefore we will consider this furniture to be part of goods so when i purchase furniture for rupees 45000 from preter and co so we identify purchase account since we are purchasing furniture for resale means purchase goods so purchase account and preter and co account so purchase account is debited preter and co account is credited if i compare with example 1 in example 1 when we purchase furniture we said furniture account debit but in case of resale in example 2 we are writing purchase account debit let's move on to example number 3 return furniture meant for resale rupees 10000 now if you are returning furniture which were meant for resale for rupees 10000 that means previously you have purchased furniture for resale and it the furniture belongs to that resale category so similarly we will pass the entry peter and co account debit because we are returning it back into peter and co so peter and co account debit and since previously we have purchased it so right now we are going to return it back so we are getting two purchase return but if i compare it with example number 1 where i have purchased furniture and right now returning it back since that furniture was used in the business in example 1 we have passed roy and sons account debit to furniture 
So we credited two furniture account in example one. However, in example three, since this goods, this furniture was purchased for the purpose of resale and we have considered it to be part of goods while we are returning it back, we are considering it purchase return. Let's move on to example number four. Sold furniture meant for resale rupees 50,000 amount realized in cash. Now since the furniture is meant for resale, so we purchase furniture for resale and right now we are selling this furniture which are meant for resale. So we will consider it to be sold furniture will be sold goods. So we will be considering it to be part of sales account. So cash account debit to sales account as per example 4. If I compare with respect to example 1 where we have purchased furniture previously and have sold those furniture, we purchased cash account debit to furniture account. So we credited two furniture account rather in example four we are crediting two sales account. So what is the gist of this entire resale story? The gist is so if you are purchasing furniture for resale it means that your furniture is basically a good which a raw material which required to be converted because you require to sell those. Therefore purchase furniture for resale to be considered as goods and we will use purchase account. Similarly, if you are selling furniture which has been made for resale, we are not going to use furniture account, we are going to use sales account. I hope you have understood the basic concept of resale. Thank you. Have a nice day.